There's nowhere like Iceland. Nicknamed the Isle of Fire and Ice, this place is by far one of the most diverse terrains on Earth and the closest I've ever felt to being on a different planet. Throughout the landscapes, you'll find everything from volcanoes and hot springs to frigid glacial lagoons and vast snowy peaks around every corner. Sunsets can last for hours and waterfalls pour out of every cliff. Now that I'm back in Iceland, I'm about to go on a new adventure in search of the clearest water on earth. Good morning from the Golden Circle in Iceland. We are about to go diving and the most exciting part about this for me is that I'm getting to bring my dad. My dad is the one who taught me how to dive. We went scuba diving for the first time when I was maybe nine or ten years old. It's one of his favorite things to do in the entire world and as of right now he has absolutely no idea that we're about to go do that. So I think we should go tell him. Hey dad. Hey. Do you want to go on your first dry suit dive? Yes! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Let's do it! Let's do it! This area of Iceland is called the Golden Circle and it is home to the Silfra Fisher. I'll be telling you more about this legendary dive site. But whether you have 3 days or 14 days in Iceland, I recommend starting your adventure with the Golden Circle. The route takes roughly 3 hours to drive but plan for more like 6 hours to give yourself time to explore places like Gullfoss and Geyser. So we are about five minutes away from the parking lot where we're going to be meeting Keaton from Diving Island, which if you want to experience this dive for yourself, you should definitely check out his company. You can find the link in the description. But uh, let's just say uh, I'm not necessarily too excited about changing into the uh, dry suit right now. It's pretty cold, maybe around uh, 50 degrees or so, but uh, it's uh, also very windy, so I'm uh, curious to see how uh, this is going to go. <laughs> the water during this dive is only slightly above freezing, and it remains at that temperature year-round. This will be the coldest water I've ever experienced, so to prepare, we jumped straight into suiting up after having a thorough brief on the route of the dive through the fissure. Getting into dry suits for the first time was a bit more of an ordeal than my dad and I had originally anticipated. Now it's my turn. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this all week. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing with your socks? <laughs> Do not take them off. You can't take my socks off. Is that cold? <laughs> Boom. So base layers have been acquired. All right. Both at the same just, time? Yeah, put it. So you can get your feet into the boots. Yeah. There you are. There you go. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 the right. water's getting in there, that's for sure. Alright. Good. I feel like I'm going like spelunking. Like I feel like this reminds me of one of those uh, big metal like uh, astronaut looking divers from back in the day that would go like deep sea <laughs> diving. I feel like I have that energy right now. Alright, we are fully geared up, ready to go. They had to, we had to put a, another extra band around my neck. It's so windy, oh, but I'm so excited. Oh. Put it to the sides like this. I'm gonna put it from the back and then we just place it over here. There you are. Right. Perfect. <laughs> gonna keep me nice and warm. There you go. <laughs> Voila! Bring Yay. it! <laughs> I think it's time! We've done it! <laughs> We're ready! <laughs> The 
The first thing I noticed after jumping in was the cold of the water stinging my lips, but they went completely numb after the first minute of exposure. There's over 300 feet or 100 meters of visibility here, and you can see the canyon walls stretching below the surface. The experience almost felt like flying, especially since you feel almost weightless in the dry suits. This is one of the only places in the world where you can dive between two continents. This fissure is formed from the Eurasian and American tectonic plates drifting apart. The water is filtered through porous underground lava for up to 100 years before reaching the Silfra fissure. This is the true reason why this is considered the clearest water in the world. The blues of the water and the greens of the algae were the most vivid colors I have ever seen in my entire life. This dive was an absolutely surreal experience, and it needs to be on your bucket list. Wow. Yeah. And the perfect thing after a nice <laughs> long dive. Hot chocolate. Some hot chocolate. Some oh. coffee. Woo! How was it? Oh, it was beautiful. You liked one it? Is definitely one of the deepest experiences I've ever seen. The blues were incredible. You kind of <laughs> look like you're in pain right now. <laughs> There's a reason why I don't have cups with a halter. Yeah. Uh, so people can uh, warm themselves yes. up. Oh. <laughs> and that is that is just uh, one of the many great touches yep. you will find Thank here you. when you dive with Diving Island. Diving Island. Island. Thank you so much again for hosting us. You're it was welcome. Amazing, it's great having you guys. Amazing, yeah. amazing experience. Especially for my dad who has always wanted to do a dive like yeah. this. So It was absolutely a bucket list event. Oh, yay. Yes. Thank you again. And also, if you want to try diving like this for yourself, you can find his website. I will link it in the description below. Wow, cannot recommend enough. Yep. Time to get some hot chocolate. Oh, there is no better place to warm up after swimming in this Silfra Fisher than here in one of Iceland's most famous hot springs. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, let's push our limits.